Hey guys, what's going on? So, as you can see, I'm going to be going over all the crossbows and bows in that block factions. And yeah, um, let's get into it. Also, real quick, shout out to Renex for giving me the obby bow so I could do the video. Thanks, man. First up is the gold bow. The gold bow is the second most common long range weapon you'll usually see and has flame, infinity, power 5, punch 2, and I'm breaking 3, which is the equivalent to a god bow. Uh, minus mending because it has a Vendi on it and those both can't go on it. It also takes 11 total hits um, that are fully charged to an iron to kill an iron golem. On to the next one. On to the gold crossbow. The gold crossbow has mending, piercing 4, quick charge 3, and then breaking 3. And it takes 11 hits to kill an iron golem. The obsidian bow, in my opinion, is like the most common one, I guess. Like, it's not the rare, rarest one, but it's like the most commonly used in battle if you actually have like a G set. And um, it comes with punch 2, and breaking 3, power 10, flame, and infinity, and no mending, once again because of the infinity. And it only takes 8 fully charged shots of the from the obsidian bow to kill an iron golem, so it's the best bow out of all the bows and crossbows. Finally, the last bow on the list is the obsidian bow, which is probably the rarest I like never see anyone with it. Um, but I do own one for some reason. I can't even remember where I got it from. But anyway, um, it has mending, piercing 10, quick charge 3, and then breaking 3, and it takes 11 hits to kill an iron golem, same as the golden counterpart. But um, obviously, it can pierce through multiple instead of the. It's going to be able to go through more targets than the piercing four, obviously. And yeah, that's all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, maybe subscribe, maybe like. I don't know. See ya.